Hey, it's Small Guy Coding again today, and I wanted to print a case for this, uh, you know, fancy little oscilloscope that we got here. And if we take a look out here on Thingiverse and just enter DSO138, there's a lot of options out here. <clears throat> and I'm sure some of these are just great. Um, there's some that have kind of a front bezel on them that uh, I didn't really feel the need for that. But if, it, uh, if, it, if you like that sort of thing, you go right ahead. This one here kind of struck me because it had the nice lettering on front. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at that one. And it's basically um, underneath. <clears throat> it's basically the, very similar to some of the other uh, um, some of the other parts. Let's see if we can take a look at that guy. Yeah, it's got the same uh, uh, kind of push levers on there. In fact, it's this model right here that uh, that printed out. It's the same as uh, some of the others. You know, it's just a, with a different uh, front on the. On, on the box, uh, printed front actually. So uh, I printed this and it comes with uh, a nice uh, back here and screws together. It also comes uh, with the available um, with an available uh, little uh, um, stands so that will hold it up on your uh, on your desk. <coughs> actually I might be using that backwards. I think it might go like that a little bit more. And I was almost settled on that one. Um, and I went ahead and printed uh, printed the label here. Um, but <laughs> with my lack of uh, uh, skills and dexterity now, it just seems uh, my lack of uh, kindergarten skills, sticker skills, I had trouble getting it cut out properly. And it just wasn't coming out well. And I thought, well, this is silly. I've got a 3D printer. You know, I could print a, a front to this thing. So I went ahead and sliced off uh, a top of uh, this part, and I put some leathering out there. And uh, I was my plan was I was just going to kind of glue this guy in front here, and it would all work just fine. Had my lettering it wasn't too bad. Some of it wasn't legible. I just really wasn't happy with that either. So I went and tried it again, and we I ended up uh, taking a look at. Uh, find it here. So I kind of like the look of this guy here and uh, his lettering came up very nicely on the screen here where mine did not quite as good. I tried printing this um, as shown with the lettering side up and I ended up with this. In fact here's a sample here. Um, you know it's okay it's not that great. I think I'm st I was starting to have some printer issues here that I, I hope I've resolved now. But uh, it didn't come out nearly as clean, clean as the uh, the one on there on the screen. Um, tip this over here. So eventually, I decided just to heck with it, and I flipped it over and printed this side down on the bed. And it actually, didn't come out too bad. Most of it's kind of legible here. Um, I'm not too worried about it. I think it I think it looks okay. I was still having some printer issues here. Some of the, the sides weren't. Uh, some of the filaments are loose, but um, I think I've I think I've solved that problem since. Anyway, uh, so I went ahead and printed out the buttons that came along with this kit, and uh, they they would stick in there kind of hard. You know, I have to loosen them up to be able to use them at all. So, what I went ahead and did uh, also before I go that far, um, these little toggle switches here <clears throat> on the original part also um, you had to do a lot of cleaning underneath here to be able to get the switch even to go in and then it went in really really t snugly so I redesigned these guys a little bit to um, have a little bit larger hole uh, to go a little deeper and also to uh, have a little bevel on this little entryway here so that uh, you can't see it there but that way if you're, you're schmutz when you have it sitting down on the bed hard, uh, uh, will, that bevel will um, cancel out some of the, the spread that you might have going and closing the hole. And I also decreased the size of these buttons, as I said, because uh, the originals just wouldn't stay in there. No, they would stay in there. They'd stick. You, couldn't, you wouldn't be able to use them. 
So let's go ahead and load this guy up. Oh, and then um, I ended up remaking the base here too. Let me find that guy. It's here someplace. Oh, here it is, right in front of me. Uh, I remade the base too because once I had this all assembled, um, it fit great. I love how this thing just snaps in. But uh, once I put the card in there, I couldn't get it to close. So I remixed the base here to be deeper, probably too deep now. Um, but it snaps shut. And I kind of like that, it snaps shut without the screws. I think that's kind of cool. So let's go ahead and uh, you can see I've got the, uh, the slide switches on here. And uh, we'll just go ahead and insert the rest of these buttons, which I think are kind of cool. And they slide in there nice and easy now, they're nice and loose. And then there's a uh, short one here <coughs> for the reset button so that you don't accidentally push that. You have to push something down into it to, to get it to activate. And we'll go ahead and we'll take this guy and flop him in there just to hold the parts together. <clears throat> and we'll take this back piece and just click it on. You can see I had some printing issues on back here too. So I hopefully I've resolved that. I think for some reason the, the temperature on my system got uh, decreased on my print jobs uh, by accident. But now <clears throat> with these uh, new buttons in here, they're very loose. They click very nicely. And uh, uh, this compared to the previous case here, compared to that guy there, um, these uh, buttons are better, well, a uh, better design that you can get full access to, easily get full access to all three settings without having to clean out. Uh, or modify the case with the file or anything. So that all works nicely. Um, I decided not to go with uh, with a stand. Oh, you could certainly print something and add something on there if you wanted to. Just because uh, while we're doing videos here, I want to face up so you that we, the camera can see what's going on there too. Then there's one last little thing that they suggest you pin, print in uh, a clear material. And that is a little window that, uh, let's see if we can get this in here right. Is it going like that, I think? Yep, it pops in there. A little window for the LED down below. Um, that's really optional if you want to leave it off. If you don't have any clear material, um, you know, you can skip it and just leave the hole there to be able to see the LED. The one issue with this, uh, increasing the depth of this, is the... Uh, this guy doesn't, uh, the, the USB port doesn't quite show through properly. It's not quite being supported enough. Um, we could put a little pad or something behind there on the base, a little bit of sticky tape or something, or foam, but we're not going to be using this any, anyway. On this model, uh, the USB connector really doesn't do anything. So. so let's go ahead and plug this guy in and see what it looks like real quick. Ah, there's a 9 volt battery. We'll just use that for now until the other thing shows up again. Perfect. <clears throat> Plug her in, see it boot. And you can see the, it's probably hard to see on the screen there, but this, you can, you can see a, a green shade in there when the LED turns on, but it's not, not really huge. So all the buttons seem to work. And uh, these give you all three positions easily here without a problem. So uh, I think we're good. I think this is the one I'm going to use. <clears throat> um, I will put the modifications out there, the, the deeper base, the uh, smaller buttons that push easier, and the modified switches. I'll put that on, out under a remix um, for this guy. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go with this one at least for now. <clears throat> there are certainly a lot of options out there. Um, certainly pick one that you... Uh, like the style of and, and go with that. Um, you can see that my uh, my screen is on there crooked of course which is a nice benefit but uh, you can see the whole thing it just you know, detracts a little bit from the overall image of the you know, overall aesthetics of it but uh, it's, we're going to use this so it's not like it has to be up on a shelf someplace being a pretty item or actually just going to make use of it so so there you have it. I'll uh, I'll link to my uh, thingy uh, on Thingiverse there where I've attached 
uh, where I put the, um, the modifications for this. And thanks for watching. See you next time.